All right, what is up tycoons? What's up traders? Super excited for today's video. We're gonna be taking a look at BTTC. All right, breaking things down on the daily time frame. Uh, this was our previous video setup. So before we head any further, I just wanna go over some of the simple things that I use in my videos, especially when it comes to technical analysis to really help give myself an edge. Um, trading is like going to battle. It's like going to war. You need to have the proper weapons at your disposal and know how to use them properly so that way you can increase your odds of success. So, you know, I like to use chart patterns, right? For instance, here, we had a nice little bear flag, okay? We had the flag itself, the flag pole, and then here's the flag. And you see, we broke down, got the bear flag move, okay? Over here, we had some box consolidation and we got a look above and fail, which is significant because at this point at the breakout, uh, bulls are really presented the opportunity to retest and push things higher and get a true breakout. But rather when they fail, it shows that uh, bulls don't have control and sellers have control and it's usually a bearish signal and we got a strong move to the downside. I also like to use divergences uh, against price action and the RSI, which is the relative strength index. So it's going to measure the relative strength of a token at its given price. And here we're having a low, a lower low and a lower low, but on the RSI at those points, we have a low, we have a higher low, we have a higher low, and we're continuing to make these higher lows, building and increasing in relative strength while price action is making lower lows. That's a term known as bullish divergence, and we got a very nice move to the upside. Now, you may notice these sets of yellow lines here. What these are is these are the Fibonacci retracement levels. So the three most common and well-respected are the 61.8, the 50%, and the 38.2. And you use these because nothing moves in a straight line down or in a straight line up. What you do is you get a move down retracement continuation lower and a move up retracement continuation higher. So it helps you spot trend continuation. And that's what we've gotten multiple times on BTTC. We have a move down retracement up to the 38.2 and then continue that downtrend and then retrace up this time to the 61.8, continue that downtrend. And we'll take a look at what the recent price action has done. Um, but first, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. This is a viewer request. I do these viewer requests every single week. So if you want to see your token or your crypto in the next video, all you have to do is comment down below. And I'll get to it as soon as I can. Now, the content provided in this YouTube channel is for informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to be relied upon as legal, financial, or investment advice. Myself and any individual or individuals on this YouTube channel are not registered financial advisors or brokers. Trading in stocks, bonds, commodities, crypto involves a significant risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. So make sure to read through the full disclaimer before moving forward. Now, this is our current setup. And so remember, I talked about the Fibonacci levels, right? And we have our three Fibonacci levels right here. We had that move down, we retraced and consolidated, but ultimately we weren't able to break out past the 61.8% level and we continue heading down lower. Now, the reason it says bullish above here and bullish above here is because these are, um, you know, essentially above the 61.8 levels and you can use them. You can use the fibs that spot that trend continuation that I mentioned, but you can use them to also spot trend reversals, right? So if you move down, retrace, consolidate, and then break through those retracement levels, that's how you can spot a potential upside reversal. Now, we did not get that upside reversal here in about February or March, and we saw a strong pullback. Um, but what we <clears throat> we did have a couple signals, right? So if you look here, we have a high and then we have a higher high right here. So the price of the token is clearly going higher. But here we have a high and then a lower high and the price of the token is uh, or the relative strength of the token is decreasing. So just like this was bullish divergence when price action was making lower lows, but the RSI was making higher lows. When the price action is making higher lows and the RSI is making lower lows, this is bearish divergence. You combine that with the fact that we weren't able to get above our 61.8% level and there was a strong chance that we were due for some type of a pullback. So, you know, combining a lot of these strategies uh, together and they're, they're just a couple simple ones that you guys can start off with as beginners um, really will help you get an edge in the market. And not only that, just understand some of the price action that you're seeing. So that way you're not caught by surprise so much. Quick word from today's sponsor, guys. Today's sponsor is Tangem, okay? And I love my Tangem wallet. I have three cards right now. And what it is, is Tangem wallet is a cold multi-currency crypto wallet that supports over 2,000 coins and tokens. It's a safe, reliable, user-friendly, and functional solution designed by a Swiss cold wallet provider. And what's great about it is 
If you haven't heard about the FTX collapse and the scandal there, as well as with many other crypto exchanges, uh, you should know by now that if it's not your keys, it's not your crypto. So you need to take your money off of these exchanges, guys. Um, you know, you can execute some buy transactions, execute some sell transactions, but you don't want to be storing your crypto there, especially a lot of people in my videos. They're very bullish on certain tokens, and they believe that they need to hold those tokens for years to come in the future. And if you're doing that on an exchange, that's just not very smart. So the best way is to transfer your money off the uh, you know exchange and put it into a cold wallet. I highly recommend the Tandem cold wallet. I have and use these. All right, it's super easy to set up, guys. It literally took me two minutes to set it up. And the great part is you don't need all these cords. You don't need to charge it, all these different things. And you don't need a PC and have to plug it into your computer, plug it into your laptop to be able to access it. Um, it's really, really nice. All right, all you have to do is you have to scan and activate the card, then you set up the password and you can start making transactions right away. So what you do is you go to the Google Play Store or you go to the Apple App Store, you download the Tangent Wallet, and when you check out and buy yourself a pack of two or a pack of three cards, use a code exactly, that's Z-A-C-H-L-Y, and you guys will get a discount on your purchase. Another thing that I really like about the Tangent Wallet, it, is, it does not break the bank, okay? Um, we know that banks are collapsing, right? And it's pretty hard to get your money out of these banks. So why would you want to risk having to pull a whole bunch of money out to buy one of those expensive ledger wallets, right? Some of those uh, cold storage wallets cost hundreds of dollars, guys. Uh, these ones are very affordable. They're under $100. And you guys can get an additional discount using my code. As I mentioned before, uh, it, uh, they're compatible with over 2,000 cryptocurrencies. Currently, it's about 2,729, and it's also DeFi compatible, guys. I love that. So it's compatible with Uniswap, uh, with PancakeSwap, SpookySwap. We have Curve Finance. We have Yearn Finance, SushiSwap. Um, so lots of great features included with this wallet, and it's also life-proof, guys. And what I mean by that is that this thing is waterproof, so you can completely submerge it in water. You can even freeze it and it's also heat resistant as well and this thing will stand the test guys stand the test of time okay not only does it look amazing and not look like some lunky usb um you know that you have it, it just looks so clean guys and you can put it in your wallet nobody's gonna see it. a lot of people have cold storage wallets as a keychain you know and it's hanging off their backpack it's hanging off their keys and you know people that are involved in crypto are gonna know about that stuff and they may be tempted to try and steal and break in to your cold storage wallet but here with the uh tangent wallet it looks like a credit card shaped like a credit card. It, you can slide it right into your wallet. And the best part is, as I mentioned, you can get packs of two or three. And so the reason that you want to do that is because if you lose this one or it becomes stolen, you can deactivate it, right? And you have your one or you have your two other cards as backups. And now you can use those. They'll all be linked to the same cold storage wallet. Um, but you can go ahead and you know deactivate the other one. All right, and you can start activating uh, your backup wallets. Now, I recommend um, you know storing them in separate places. You don't want to keep all your eggs in one nest. Uh, but yeah, definitely check out the Tangem wallet, guys. Go to the Apple App Store, go to the Google Play Store, download the Tangem app today, and use code exactly Z A C H L Y uh, when you purchase, and you guys will get an additional discount on your Tangem wallet. So our current Fibonacci levels for right now, okay, they're going to be point um, zero 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 seven zero, okay, and then six eight and six six. All right, so those are the three key levels that we need to get above. Uh, if we can consolidate and break out above here, we have a chance of retesting our previous highs over here, which is point zero 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 seven eight, right around that level. Um, that's going to be our ultimately our breakout level. If we can break out past previous highs, we had a, a three rejections over here and above there, we could come up to eight, four and eight, six. Now we do have a triangle pattern that's forming here. Currently, uh, this is more of a symmetrical pattern. You could say it's a little bit of a bear flag. Um, but we do have a symmetrical triangle right here. So we'll be looking to see if we get the breakout to the upside or if we get a breakout to the downside potentially, right? So uh, the breakdown level is going to be uh, 5.8, right? And below 5.8, our bearish price targets are 5.4, 5.0, and 4.5, all right? So those are really the key levels that I'm looking at when it comes to BTTC, all right? So keep an eye on those, um, pay close attention. 
All right, currently I don't see any divergences on the relative strength index. Uh, as uh, we mentioned in the past, there was bull, uh, bearish divergence and bullish divergence at these points in time. Um, and you know, right now we don't have any, so there's not always going to be a divergence, but when there are those divergences, um, it can be pretty useful as a potential setup uh, to help understand some uh, possible future activity, whether it's bullish, whether it's bearish. Um, so that's it for today's video, guys. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Make sure to um, uh, uh, let me know in the comments, okay? Sorry, I had a brain fart. Yeah, let me know in the comments um, if you guys want to see your token in the next video because, again, I do these viewer requests every single week. And don't forget to go to the uh, App Store today, download Tangem, and use code Zachly. Um, that will get you a discount, and that also helps support the channel. So appreciate you guys watching. I'm out.